Today on The Flush. Whoa, look at that. We scale Idaho peaks to experience one of America's most rugged and rewarding. Right there. Upland bird hunts. We are covered up in birds. Wild partridge, chucker, and quail explode on land owned by you and me. The Flush, presented by Federal Premium Ammunition and Pheasants Forever. Oh, look at this place. If bird hunting has a heaven, Idaho stole its view. The boys are ready. <laughs> I'm ready. Look at this guy in a t-shirt. It's 38 degrees out here this morning. That's Robbie Thompson, and that's Trevor, his bird hunting sidekick. This is Ryder, and that's Ellie over there. All together, we set out to hunt one of America's wildest pieces of public property. Idaho might lead the nation in public hunting opportunities. 72% of the state of Idaho is public, which is 12 million acres, roughly 12 million acres. We're surrounded by BLM land as far as the eye can see. Hungarian partridge and chucker thrive here at 4,000 feet. <sighs> There's somewhere out here. This country is jagged. It's up, it's down, it's rocky. It's as wild of a landscape as I have ever hunted. And yet my spirits have never been higher. I live for this challenge. We saw a couple birds land just on the very top here. Let's hope they're there when we get there. Here we go. Dang it. Living on cliff edges, their escape path takes them straight down. Before you know it, you're looking up and having to hike back up all those rocks and you better be ready to put on some miles. Oh boy, this Minnesota boy's a little afraid of heights. <laughs> it's not for everybody, but it's definitely worth it. There goes a the gear. Our bird dogs don't care much about that deer or these views. Robbie's two-year-old German short-haired pointer wants these birds as bad as we do. And he has the nose and skills to lock coveys down tight. Now, it's just a matter of time. This looks like a nice flat to get a bird. Right here. Oh, lock up. Oh, no. Did they all get away? The rush, huh? Oh, boy. This is how this is gonna go. You blew it! And Huns are, they're a fun bird to hunt. Every time we get to the top of a flat, the dogs get a little excited. Oh, here we go. Oh, there they go. Hey, what, what happened? I don't know. If you're not missing birds, you're not hunting enough. That's just the fact. Deer, there's some birds right there too. Where? We are suddenly covered up in birds. We flushed two cubbies in a row, boom, boom, miss, miss. We've got mule deer running. <sighs> this is a hunt, this is real. Right here, on top. Look at all the feathers. How did the bird get away? Guys, we hit them. <laughs> Keep chasing them. Oh, here we go. Here they go. Got one. I got one. Come, 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 come. 
Yeah, drop, drop. Look at that bird, that is beautiful. At 4,500 feet, we got one. <laughs> <laughs> we got one, you guys. Got one. This place is special. <laughs> These birds are special. The bird hunting here is pretty good. Can't complain. Right there. Oh, there was two more. Things are turning really quick here. So spectacular. Thank you. <laughs> Thankful. That's all I can think right now. Yeah, it's quite the reward, especially when your dog, you know, held that point and got that retrieve too. This looks really birdy here. We kept going covey after covey after covey. And that is beautiful. Oh, there you go. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh. Oh my goodness, look at him go. There's <laughs> so many arms up here right now. You got him, bud. Now you can strut like a peacock <laughs> out there make, after making that I shot. Know. I can't believe how many birds are out here. Public land. Yep, public land. all public land. It all belongs to each and every one of us. It's all BLM land, and everything's everything's open to the public out here. Here you go. Oh, oh there goes one. Nice shot. Trevor's on the board. Got to get on the board. With 12 million acres ahead, this adventure still holds a few more ups and downs. Stick around. The Flush is brought to you by Federal Premium Ammunition. Every shot counts. Waltons, everything but the meats. Aluma Trailers. Pike Gear. And by Nutrisource. Southern Idaho might be America's best kept bird hunting secret. Come on, my belly. Come on. Upland fanatics Robbie Thompson and Trevor Henderson live to walk this golden grass. Look around right now. This place is incredible. Whoa. Yesterday, we flushed tons at 4,000 feet. Today, we're after quail in the Snake River Canyon. Idaho's Access Yes program compensates private landowners that open their land to public hunting. Let's go hunt. <laughs> California quail live wild here beneath these sage and plum tree thickets. Whoa. Good morning. <laughs> they are a fast moving, tight holding, take off when they want to take off target. Who shot? <laughs> one can go left while the other goes right, and another one's going straight. Yet they still meet up at the same spot together. Trevor's bird dogs, Ryder and Ellie, give us a chance. They're both three-year-old German short-haired pointers raised from the same litter. Ellie is the expert pointer, Ryder, the strong retriever. They work really well together. I didn't really train them on that. It kind of happened and they put it together themselves. If it starts again. Yep. <laughs> there it goes. All right, got that out of the way. Man, this place is incredible, but I don't know how else to sum it up. This place is incredible. Moved here pretty much for the bird hunting. 
raised in California, Robbie and Trevor found they both shared the same bond. Met Robbie uh, on a job site. We both work construction and work for the same builder. Saw a sticker on the back of his truck and it was uh, of German short-haired pointers, which I had the same dogs. Bird hunting formed their friendship and brought them here. One Idaho bird hunt was all it took. Found the job up here and four weeks later, I think it was, I was driving up here. Trevor followed right behind. Oh yeah, it's a hell yeah moment for sure. You know, I feel bad for people that grew up in the city, don't know anything but the city, and get to miss out on the view, like everything we have here. Yeah, right here's a little trail coming right through here. These things can run anywhere under here. It is truly a blessing to be able to do this. Oh, we got a point. We got a point right here. Here goes one, right over you. Bumblebees just flying in every direction. On the road. Oh. Yep, there they go. Oh, man. Oh. Another <laughs> cubby gets away. We're like, oh, my gosh. There oh, they go. Oh. There. Watch him, watch him. Oh, look at them. Got, Got one. one. They're definitely a tough bird to hit, but once you get one, they're, they're an amazing bird and quite the reward. You guys, I found him. Oh, it's a beautiful bird. Yes, we got one. We got one, you guys. <laughs> oh, Andy. What a special bird. <laughs> what a special place. Still to come, we ditch our blaze orange right to play tug of war right, 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 in Idaho right. Snake River Canyon. Fish yeah. on, baby. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. The Flush is brought to you by Benelli, Carlson's Choke Tubes, The Shooter's Choice, Elk Mound Seed, Ruffland Kennels, and by Kansas Department of Wildlife Parks and Tourism. This segment of The Flush is brought to you by North Dakota Tourism. Start your journey at NorthDakotaLegendary.com. Twin Falls, Idaho gets the nod as one of America's prettiest places. Visitors come here for the sights and the heights. <laughs> Robbie Thompson and Trevor Henderson took their own leap of faith here, moving cross country to chase a passion for upland birds. There they go. Got one. Oh, there they go. Got to get on the board. On their journey, they met Luke Mickelson, a Twin Falls local with a sweet spot for sturgeon. The Snake River is iconic for sturgeon. White sturgeon, and they are massive. Eight, 10, 12 foot beasts. Luke's confidence runs high. Oh, we're gonna catch one, I guarantee you. What you have here is the special 50% Big Daddy sauce. <laughs> <laughs> We've found a, a, a blend, what we call our Big Daddy sauce, and uh, it seems to do all right. <laughs> That's going to get me something real nice. I was expecting to throw the line out and wait, but it happened in a flash. Right here. Oh, right here, right here. Fish yeah. on, baby, yeah! Oh. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I set the hook, and it is pure chaos. Huh? Oh, he wants is to that, jump. Is that anchor out? Oh, he's jumping. He's jumping. Hold, hold on, just for a second. Let me, let me see if I can. 
This thing's kicking my butt. So I'm just holding on, and the line is just going. Oh, yeah. Come on up. Let's see you. And this is why you come to Idaho, right here. Right here, buddy. There he is, there he is, there he is, there he is. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, just get as far in that bad boy as you can. Sweet. Give a kiss? Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh, you can kind of really see the nearly seven feet of pure prehistoric power. You cannot take them out of the water. So it's kind of one of those special moments. Hold it in the water and watch it swim away. Thank you. Nice. Go tell your friends. Come Woo! On. Nice That's fish. what I'm talking Woo! about. Yeah. <laughs> Celebrations run short when sturgeon turn on. Oh, great. Oh, big one. Holy <laughs> That's a big one. Here's up. Reel up. Real I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Pull that anchor, Grant! Pull that anchor! There was no downtime. In total chaos, a second line snags Trevor's fish. Give you a little bit. Oh, he came off. I still got him. He still got him? Sweet. I don't know where I'm supposed to him, but... You want to you play him nice. Don't try to jerk him in. Drop the rod. How the arms doing? Oh, they're tired. <laughs> wow. Yeah, he's. Trevor, you're just getting schooled. Oh man, that's a massive fish. Back up, back up, a little bit. Okay, hook out, hook out. Okay. Oh, look at that! Look at that beast! You see that? <laughs> All right, yeah, let the beast go. It is. Woo, yeah! Nice Nicely fish. done! Yeah. This place is amazing! <laughs> Woo! In this setting, <laughs> these cliffs, the massive fish, what an experience. From Snake River Sturgeon to Idaho's Devil Birds, our final hours are about to close with a bang. Pheasants Forever's mission is to protect and restore wildlife habitat. Without habitat, we don't have wildlife and we don't have places to hunt. Without you, Pheasants Forever has one less voice in their fight for conservation. Join Pheasants Forever today to help us create healthy habitat, cleaner water, and abundant wildlife. Sign up at this web address and you'll receive a one-year subscription to Pheasants Forever Journal plus this signature series Pheasants Forever Duffel Bag. Your $35 will make a difference today that will last forever. In 1865, pioneers traveling the Oregon Trail settled on this soil in southern Idaho. A shell of their life still stands here today. I can't believe everything's just sitting here like this. Much like this preserved piece of history, land near this settlement remains an American treasure. This Wild West landscape gives life to wild critters and this ground, oh, sage grouse. Whoa, look at that, sage grouse. Is owned by you and me. I hate to say it, but it's kind of a rare sight in America these days. Eight sage grouse right there. This is a bird hunter's paradise. Public hunting opportunities literally in every direction. We have seen exactly this many bird hunters. Well, like we said, it's a hidden gem here, especially the hunting the birds that we want to hunt. Uh, not too many people want to put on those miles. It's 
seriously, look at this. Like somebody drew up the most perfect setting to watch bird dogs. <laughs> and I happen to be living in it right now. It's just a matter of getting out here and doing it. Oh, we got a point. I shot right over the top of him. I'm not used to shooting down on a bird. Nope. <laughs> It just puts the whole world in perspective when you can just see something like this and like I'm just this little tiny piece in this massive picture. There they go. The bird hunting here is pretty good. Can't complain. Here he is, right here guys. Nice. It can be rocky, um, a lot of ups and downs. Call it a hunter's way of life. Following Robbie and Trevor's bird dogs, I'm reminded that hard work leads to rewards. Got him. Got him. Double. I just got a double. Oh my gosh. I can't believe it. Give! I just doubled up on chuckers. Oh my gosh. There's bucket list bird hunts. And then, <laughs> I think this one just took it to a whole nother level. My first chucker! <laughs> Whoa! And this is why they call them the red-legged devils. Those red legs. <laughs> Three chuckers. Three chuckers. Oh my gosh. I'm a hugger. I'm a hugger. <laughs> <laughs> Idaho's upland birds take dreams and make them a reality. Now we can go. <laughs> what a place. What a place. <laughs>